morning guys, it's Mel from Mel W Scrapping. Um, I'm about to bring you a process video for the Craft IQ Challenge for April. Um, so this month our um, things were um, to use a mood board that was supplied, add silver, use a stencil, add hexagons, sequence, use a punch, add vellum, and the bonus twist was we had to have seven embellishment clusters. Okay, so I've got everything set up ready to go. That was everything, I, and I think I've ticked it all off. This was the mood board. So it's got lots of yellows, oranges, browns, sun. Oh, it's got a bit of hessian type thing. So it's in those colour variations. So we'll take that off. <clears throat> so with this one, I decided to do my own original. So I drop a bit of a layout. Um, and then I drew the layout like this and then decided to turn it around. I tested out some ink colours and things. That's just to give me a little bit of an idea of what I wanted to do. So this is what I've come up with. I haven't stuck anything down yet. I've got it ready to go. Um, so I thought I might do that while I'm talking to you guys. Because I don't know how it's really going to go. But we'll see how we can go. I've stuck, put stick, double sided tape on everything. So what we'll do is the seven clusters I've made as hearts. So one, two, three, four. I've lost it again. Five, six. I had another one. I keep losing a heart. I might have to go at it. Anyway. And I mean, I've got a clean desk. I don't know how I keep losing things. There it is. Oh my God, it's on. See if it comes to when we start sticking things down. So I'll pop everything out roughly where it's going okay so I've done some ripping I actually put together a bit of a kit of all um, scraps out of all my scrap um, my scrap bag that I have down near my desk <clears throat> um, I've got lots of scraps and of course I love the yellows and things so I put that together now my stencil and my hexagons that's what I was going to point out I used a hexagon stencil and I killed two birds with one stone now the colors that I did up here I did mustard seed carved pumpkin and believe it or not, I stuck a little bit of ground espresso in there. So I did yellow first in parts. Then I went and did the orange in parts. And then with the brown, I sort of dabbed it a bit. And I just put a little tinge over parts of it. And I did it the same down the bottom. Down the bottom I did lighter, a little bit lighter than up the top. Um, just something different. So I've ticked, I can tick that one off. I did seven. Oh, and my punches. Yes, I'll show you those. I used my punches for those hearts, which is that punch. And the little heart, little heart that I'm going to pop on underneath the photo. I used this one. You probably can't see it very well. I'll turn it over. This one here. So I used those two punches, and then for the bigger hearts, I actually used a die. Right, stop talking, Melanie. And stop sticking. As you can see, that was a scrap because I cut into it. <clears throat> now Jackie from Craft IQ, she organizes this every every month 
sometimes she asks different people for a, a, um, a thing to put on the list because she can't think of um, every time, which is fair enough, I think. Um, different people will have a go at putting on putting a uh, thing that they want you to use on the list. Uh, this time, what did I find difficult? I found difficult the at first. I thought the vellum. I have a lot of vellum uh, titles and sayings. They are extremely old. They could even be creative memories ones. I've hardly ever used. Now, just take that down a bit, sorry. <clears throat> Let's stick the photo together. Uh, I keep them in a, in a little plastic box, I'll show you in a moment. I find it hard to stick on glitter, so I don't know if I'm going to need some glue or not. Going to come off? No, it's not going to come off. Yay! Um, I've never used, I haven't used a mood board much before, so I kind of just went with the colours from the mood board. Um, I thought I'll just do up my own original sketch and try and do my own original thing instead of following somebody else's sketch for a change. <clears throat> now, I'll stick the bottom down first. I can get the backing off. Sometimes I have trouble, sometimes I don't. This double sided tape is actually really, really good stuff. And so I'm just going to stick the bottom down until I get that bit in the top. Let's go. Where else am I going to pop that? Let's see where that's going to go on there. that on there first. I have a habit of putting things down close to me or off to the side. Right. I wanted the top of that gold circles to show. Let's just go with that. Stick that on and see how far down I've got to move that photo. It's a girl thing. I went with the title. Uh, it was actually my daughter's leavers dinner. For grade six. Um, and she wanted her hair done. And the reason I went with the gold dots um, is because she actually had a gold ribbon in her hair. I think I might go down just a little bit more. Go down like that. Let's try that. So I don't want that orange to show. Just want the yellow. Okay, let's take those bits off. Oh, stop losing those little. I haven't. I haven't got much of this. Scraps of oh, there's one. Look at that, we found it. Um, scraps of this paper left, this Hessian type basket weave paper, and I keep losing those little hearts. I've lost one, I don't know where that is. Um, and it looked really good on the yellow. Again, I'm not one to 
Now I just wanted some of the gold to show through. Let's go that much. So once, and once I saw vellum and I thought, oh, I've got those vellum titles, and then I went through some other things and I found some more vellum. And I thought, yay, let's use that too. As you can see, this stuff really sticks. Hope everyone has fun playing along with the April challenge. I know I do every every month. It's one of the things I actually look forward to. Okay, just eyeball it. Is it in line with the bottom? Roughly, that'll do. I always wait till all the number to number things come out of what we need to use on our layout. And and wait for the bonus twist. So I just have so much fun. I have so much fun doing this challenge. Right, I'm going to get the glue. I had a die and I just cut out this little line with the bow. And I'm probably going to have to cut some of that off too. So I want to go to about there. Scissors. And I'm going to go little snip and a little snip turn it over and believe it or not this paper that I love so much actually on the back of a beach type paper it just works so well with yellow I get glue all over me oh well down to about here. Okay, that should dry. So I'm going to class. I've actually cut out with this punch. I cut out a hole of the yellow so that some of the gold dots would show through and the little heart punch I used to do some little hearts. We'll stick them on as well because they're ready to go. And I am going to class that as a cluster. So that's that. What else do we need to stick on there? All the hearts. Now I have that lot down there. That lot there. That lot. There, there, and there. So one, two, three, four, five, six. I was missing one. I'm missing some silver hearts. Great. Where did I put those? See, how do you how do you lose hearts that were just on your desk? Seriously. Oh, I'll have to make some more. I've got to put sequins on too, so we'll glue those on. I just want the heart to go off to the side. On these big clusters. Put a little bit too much tape on that. I didn't need that much. I thought I'd get myself organised. So I just off to the side and I'll just stick that in that corner 
I need to clean my desk up just a little bit more. Currently I've decided do I go in the middle or do I go off to the side a bit more? And off to the side. I think I like off to the side. Um, now there's lots of other ladies playing along um, in the Craft IQ Challenge. Now the Craft IQ Challenge you can find on Facebook. On the Facebook is called Craft IQ. Um, and I'll have a uh, majority of the ladies uh, listed down in the description below. Um, and if you could check everybody out um, and show them some love, that'd be fantastic. I think there's a few new ones going to be. I'll go there so that you can see some of the black behind it. <coughs> um, a few new people, I think, playing along this month. And I'm sure they all have something different and all do something different. Um, yeah, it'd be fun to see what everyone comes up with actually. It's always seven things. We always have seven things that we've got to include on our layouts. And then Jackie gives us a twist at the end and it's always a twist that we go oh no do I have to right okay there's no silver one there why am I losing a silver part right not on my sketch I'm going to have to try and cut out one. I have some scrap. I need silver and I have some scrap yellow too. Okay, bear with me everybody and I'll see what I can find. Okay, I'm back. I've cut two, I've cut another one out of the yellow from the punch and I did another one out of the silver for the... Uh, silver foil. So we'll get some tape on the back of those. And that's the seven clusters done. And then it's a matter of deciding on the sequence. Oh, that's lifting up. in that corner so this one needs to go in this corner there's a heart on that side go like that so one two three four five six seven and I think in those clusters I will I don't think I took all the backing off Include the sequence. So I've got my sequence. These are old Tupperware um, spice containers, and I've put my I've put all my sequence in here. What have we got? Is a goldy colour? Now, no doubt. Bear with me. I'm going to have sequence go everywhere. There's a goldy colour. There's a ready colour. Go 
all red. It must be an orange. Somewhere over here. I've got an orange, maybe. Maybe I don't have an orange. Oh, look at that. I don't have an orange. College of Colorado. I think it's Maybe we'll just go with the two. Oh, what's this colour? Down here hiding. And I'm about to have sequins go everywhere. I think I might just get a big container and put them all in. There we go. <coughs> right. That's why I found to make a mess all over my desk. Make some spill out. The orange, that's the red. See, this is what I do. One day I will learn a really good method to use sequence. That's good. I kind of wanted to use the gold because I've got gold on there and the gold is in her uh, goldy bow. She had gold um, accent uh, earrings and necklaces on too. The red will match her um, dress and I wanted a little bit of orange in there to kind of go with the orange paper. So Let's, let me see. This is a bit... Uh, one, two, I'm going to let use this like the gems. I'm going to go one, two, three. Gold in the middle. I think I like that. Got a bit closer. Gold, red, and orange. Don't tell me I didn't take that backing paper off here, but no, I didn't. You know, quite often I will do layouts and I think, why is that not sticking? Uh, Mill and Mill, you need to take off the backing. A red and I need an orange. Gold. Red. And I just need some more gold, red and orange here. And I think on this one I'm going to just stick red. That's what let's see I told you I'd spill them. The white ones, the clear ones. Let's take those ones off. Maybe I'll go at the top. Like that. Oh, bear with me, people. I'm now I'm going to attempt to use this. Closer. I'm so glad I got that nouveau drop, nouveau glue, uh, glue. I had some cheap craft glue from the cheap shop, and every time I did sequence, everything would be glued to me, or I'd have 
glue lines going across everywhere. Sorry, I'm concentrating everyone. <laughs> Trying to get it in the right spots. Uh, and then it sticks to my finger. Tried to get a crystal katan that some of the ladies use. I know Janet uses one. I think Rebecca Lockhart uses one. But I can't get one here in Australia. I've tried to get it online. And they're just sold out all the time. And my tweezers have got a bit of glue on them and then they just stick to everything. There we go. And now it's on a little easier. Right. Do I do these ones? No. These ones out of the way. Cooperate little sequins. Okay, another orange. Show you what I do at the end with the sequins to make sure it all sticks. Probably putting a bit too much glue on. I'm only new with this glue and I just but it's good. It is so much better than what I was using. Okay. So this is what I do. I turn the tweezers over and I go like this and push them down. Make sure they squeeze into that glue. This side. There. That is our sequence done. Now you may be wondering why is there a big gap here. I'm actually going to do some journaling here. Um, so that's why I left that gap. So there's my, there's my take on the April IQ challenge. So we've got, we used the mood board. I used the colours from the mood board. I've added the silver here behind the photo and the heart. I used a stencil and I added hexagons by using this hexagon stencil. I've added a sequence. I've used a heart punch. I used two different heart punches and I actually used a die as well. Added vellum, which I've done here and here. And my bonus twist was seven embellishment clusters. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I think we'll call that done. Um, I will have everyone that I can, um, their link to their 
YouTube channels down in the description below. Um, if you like this video um, and like this layout, if you could give me a thumbs up, that would be great. Um, if you'd like, if you're new to watching the videos, please subscribe. It doesn't cost. Thank you to everyone else who has subscribed. Um, and I hope to see you all um, with another video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.